Hi everyone, it's been about a year since my last solar fountain video and I figured it was time for an update. So let's see what's changed, how I've kept it going this long, and some of the animals that have come to pay a visit. Here it is after one year of service. The fountain has held up quite well and other than the occasional clean out, it has required little maintenance. The biggest change that I'm sure you spotted by now is that I switched to river rocks instead of using the rock and gravel mixture I had in the original video. The main reason for this change is that it keeps the fountain easier to clean. Instead of messing with all the gravel, it's much easier to just clean off a few river rocks and keep them free of algae. The river rocks also put out less dust, which has improved the water clarity and likely extended the life of my pump. Now that I have established a small body of water in the same place for so long, a lot of animals have come to rely on it for their daily water needs. Dozens of birds stop by every day to drink. I set up this security camera a week ago in preparation for this video, and I was amazed how many different types of birds are stopping by. I am not a bird expert by any means, but it's cool to see how many different types of birds are enjoying the fountain. Of course, bees are still a regular visitor. It's hard to capture them on film, but there is always at least a couple of them dropping by for a quick drink. Once night falls, an entirely different set of animals arrive. This toad stopped by several nights in a row. Another repeat customer is this fox. She has visited almost every night I have had the camera set up. She always stops by for a quick drink, then disappears again into the night. One night she even brought a friend. Cats are also a regular nighttime visitor. Luckily I haven't seen them come into contact with any foxes. Before I set up the camera, I had no idea how many animals were stopping by. Now that I know that they are using the fountain and relying on it, I've renewed my commitment to keep the fountain going for them. The mini fountain is great because it's easy to keep clean and the water fresh, but it's not without a few downsides. The main drawback is that because of its small size, it will dry out if you don't constantly keep it filled. In the winter, I didn't have to worry about it much. I only had to refill it once every few days. In the summer, if your fountain is located in a lot of sun like mine is, it will need daily refills. It only takes a second or two, but it is something you have to remember to do. If you found a slightly deeper container or kept the fountain in a shadier spot, it would definitely help prevent summer dryouts. The summer will also bring with it algae, but it actually hasn't been as fast growing as I originally feared. In the last year, I only had to scrub it out maybe three or four times. Again, the fountain is so small that it really didn't take long. That's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about my fountain or need help with yours, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section. If you stuck around this long, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Till I see you again, thanks for watching.